Hello and welcome back everyone, we are of course back, and today, as you can see, we are in Crazy Craft once again, and if you see my hotbar, you will notice I've got some things in it. First off, the Cyclotron. As I said, I didn't really want to make it because it can go boom, and I thought it was a bit of a smaller explosion. No, this is bigger than some nukes, so, um, yeah, definitely placing it on the ground, probably around, like, right over there. I just tried zooming in with the key that I usually do on vanilla, but uh, for here that does phasing. <laughs> um, I also have this stuff, which you may be wondering why I have water and niter, or niter, however you want to say that. I also have a bunch more. Um, as I said, you need coolant in this thing, like need coolant. There is no option of if you can have coolant. If it doesn't have coolant and you try running it, it's gonna go boom. So, uh, what we can do is we throw that in there, we throw that in there, and I'm gonna go ahead, grab some more various things to hold this, because, yeah. Um, also, I did get this stuff because it has EMC, and you will see why a bit later in the episode. Keep watching for that, because that's going to be good. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to let that do its thing while I explain kind of what the plan is. Also, don't mind the fact that I have that bag or the red matter hammer. I was mining a bit for that nighter. <laughs> anyway, um, so basically, what I've realized is... Last episode, I was saying, you know, for these dinospheres, yeah, I can use the um, breeding reactor to get this stuff, but it would take a long time and it would be really annoying, so I'm just going to do this, because I can literally get uranium powder like nothing. You know, I can get as much of it as I want. And this cyclotron is very useful to us for another thing. Because, uh, here, I'm not even going to search for it, but if we look over here and we see what this can craft, this thing right here, PT Isotope Cell. This thing, I never knew what it did, and I was always kind of confused what it could do and all that. And I was recently told by an associate <laughs> that this thing basically makes a lot of power every tick in Minecraft, not every second. So, uh, we of course need to make one, because as you all know, we like power. Uh, power is very important. So, um, I have these two RTG set up, or er, RTG units set up, I think I have the billets set up, I definitely have star metal, but I need this tenosine powder, and you need a cyclotron red phosphorus for that. So, uh, yeah, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> Wait a second. Either way, you need plutonium dust. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm gonna have to blend some plutonium. But yeah, so first off, I'm gonna make a lot of this coolant. I'm gonna make a another little thing that's needed for the cyclotron called... Or not this, because I don't know how to make this, because you can't... Or I don't know how to make this. But I do need to make this. And, I mean, we are, of course, making coolant. I can make the cryo powder really easily, so yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna check around some things, and I'll be back in just a moment. See you back right. Okay, and we are back. So, I have this set up. This, it looks very rudimentary and doesn't look good, but this is honestly powering this really well. It's already at over 5 million after just a little bit, and if I turn this on, it just goes crazy. Because, off camera, I got the never version of that geyser that I was talking about, and it's way faster. So if you do play this, I entirely suggest to get that. It's not that hard to find, just use a silk touch pickaxe, and then you got it. And, think like the other one, but probably twice or so as fast. I don't know, I didn't actually time it, but it's so much faster. Um, yeah, so that's already 8 million. So... The coolant that we have should be plenty for now. I don't know what this does, but it says required, so I'm not going to risk it. And here's what we need. So. Um, oh, wait. We needed this for the Neptunium. 
Which means I'm glad I've got the Euphemium boots on. Okay, um, now we turn it on and we hope for the best. Because if I did anything wrong, then we are in trouble. Oh. The amount of power this uses, oh my. Okay, yeah, I was widely underestimating the amount of power that thing would need. <laughs> I mean, I don't have that much power right now, but... I mean, I like to at least think we've got an okay amount of power that we can make. You know, 8 million isn't bad. <laughs> this thing discharges so slowly, dang. Not even worth using that one. This one, however, is gonna discharge a bunch faster. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna try to fill this up the best that I can. I really hope I don't need to add in another setup like this on the other side or on that side because lag, but uh, if I have to, then I have to, you know, could be worse. Um, what I am going to add another one of, though, is another watch because, trust me, even when this thing does work, it works slow. So, yeah, it's probably going to help having as much power as possible as much coolant as possible, and two watches. That's definitely gonna help. Definitely gonna be nice to have. Here is the... Here's the moment of truth. <laughs> I'm putting these in just in case, because if I do die, I'm way more okay with losing this stuff than losing this. Okay. Um, that used all of the power. I don't know if that's working, but I'm gonna give it a second. Um, yeah, I don't think this is working. Um, I don't know if I need more power or if I need that weird, uh, thing. The tower thing. I don't know. I'm gonna look it up real quick, and, uh, yeah, I'll be back in just a minute. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to make the upgrades for it which uh, we can of course see right here, the speed upgrade and the effectiveness upgrade. So, uh, or no, power saving I mean, because we want as little power needed as possible for this thing. Um, yes, so it basically just, it's very slow and it takes a lot of, a lot of power. Like, all of the power. But, yes, yeah, so... I'll be back, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go ahead and make that. Sorry, I missed the F5 button there for a second. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so I'm gonna make those, I think. You know, if they aren't too hard to make. I mean... It's not too bad. Yeah, we've got all that stuff. And then... We've got all that stuff. Yeah, very easy. <laughs> yeah, I'll go make that, and then I'll be right back, and we'll try the Cyclotron again. But, if it does work, we're not going to be doing the Plutonium right now. It's become very clear to me now that we do not have enough power. You know, for stuff like this, we need more power. So, I'm going to be focusing on that other thing that I showed. That isotope thing that gets a ton of power, because I have used it before without a watch, and you can dupe them easily, just like these. Uh, honestly, once I get them, I'm gonna get rid of this whole setup, because this, it's disappointing how slow this is. I expected it to be a lot faster, I expected it to be a lot better, because I, I expected it to be able to be higher, but it wasn't. So, that, honestly, at this point, isn't worth it. This, though, this is worth it. This I'm going to be keeping, because I like this setup. This does not take too much room, it doesn't lag very much, I don't think. And it's just amazing. But, yeah, I'm going to make those things, hopefully by the end of this episode, get rid of this, and set them all up. And you guys will see just how amazing they are, because they are so fast. Um, yeah, so I'll be back. Just one second. <laughs> okay, I got the upgrades set up. <laughs> um... I mean, this should help a lot. I don't know if it will, but I'm gonna... 
I'm gonna wait for this to be fully filled up. I'll even have uh, another one of these ready, I think. Maybe more, I don't know. Because I really do not want to waste the materials that I'm using on this because, yeah. You know, time is valuable. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, worst comes to worst. You know, we spend the episode figuring out how to use this, spend the episode setting it up, and then I figure it out off camera and we do it the rest next time. Uh, but that's not going to be happening, because I'm going to be doing this. <laughs> um, yes, so I'm going to let it get to there. I'll add in some more power things, because, yeah, I really do not want to mess this up, and uh, yeah, I'll be back when that's done. Okay, I'm back, and I have done everything I can think of for this without it taking too long. You know, I got this, and I mean, this isn't the best, but it gets a pretty good amount of extra power, you know, especially with all of these. Um, I have all of these just because I think anything that's made from either of these will also go into these and into this. So basically, this is kind of like our backups, our reservoir of power. <laughs> um, so I, you know, I don't really know what else to do without this lagging me to death, or without this taking me like a couple hours to do anything. Because, yeah, this is just a sort of quick solution, you know, once I'm done with this, I'll probably get rid of all of these because I don't want to store every one of my lie on energy storage blocks down here. But yeah, uh, as I was saying, if there is ever a time to do this, now is the time. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and grab the plutonium, grab the red phosphorus, and let's go. Um, I don't know if I had enough power. Uh, yeah, I definitely don't think I had enough power. Okay, turning on the reserves. Okay, I, if this don't, if this doesn't work, I don't know what to do. Because, I mean, you guys see how much power's in this. I know you people that are actually a lot better with HPM probably are looking at this like, okay, this is a terrible setup. Yes, I know. <laughs> um, once again, this is the quickest thing I could think of, because, yeah, I've already been doing this for a while, trying to figure this out, and, uh, yeah. But... I honestly don't know at this point, because this thing, I don't know. I've tried this before with the Cyclotron Tower, and it actually worked, but I have no idea how to get that. Because as I said, I don't know if you can craft the D magnets. I need to look that up too. Um, but yeah, I'm throwing all my power into this, and it's doing nothing. Oh. I mean, maybe if I got another... One of the power saving ones, but honestly, I'd say this is a pretty, pretty much a lost cause of, as of now, because I, I can't get enough power for it. <laughs> um, I mean, this is a really cool looking setup in my opinion. You know, looks like I kind of know what I'm doing while also not having any idea of it. But yeah, I can't think of anything else to do, so I'm going to figure it out. Or actually, you know what? I'm not giving up right there. <laughs> that's not... That's quitter talk. And you know what I'm not? I'm not a quitter. <laughs> so, I'm gonna be back in a little bit. I'm gonna look up how to get those D-magnets, because I... I don't know if this is needed, or what, but, uh... I mean, it's a cyclo... Tron Tower, I'm assuming it's needed for the Cyclotron. So yeah, I'll be back in just a minute. <laughs> okay, so I have found out that supposedly you don't need that coolant cluster thing. Supposedly 
the speed upgrade, even though it didn't say it took away power, pretty sure it does take away power. And, I mean, either way, rather not risk it. Um, and, yes, yeah, so... This should take about 120 million HE for one operation, which I think we could do. Because if we look at this, we've got 100 million. Plus 12 right here, 2 more million, 2.25 in each of these, and also the stuff that's pumping in from these over time. So, I mean, this is making a good amount. Like, um, look how fast that goes. That's very fast. If I make it so that that doesn't go in at all, um, I think it might even go faster. So, um, yeah. I guess there's only one thing left to do, and that's to try this again. Uh, those first few times didn't go so well, but, uh, yeah, those will probably be cut out or not. I don't know yet. Depends... Depends how long this is. <laughs> anyway, we're just trying for the one thing. The thing for those other things, the isotope things, because that's what we need for power. I'm not gonna make it another big infinite power video next time, but if we can get this, then this is the best kind of power we're gonna have, pretty much. Okay, let's go. Um, that just ate through all the power. Is this working? I don't know. I really don't, and I kind of doubt that it is, to be honest with you. Because this isn't showing any progress. Um, I think the information I may have gotten may have been wrong. Uh, I'm not quite sure. That was a failure. Yeah, it has eaten all of my power, and fun. Okay, am I doing the wrong recipe or something? I mean, I don't think I am. Uh, no, that's not it. Red phosphorus for lithium does sulfur, we don't need that. Um, where is it? There it is, red phosphorus. Box of plutonium dust, tannicine powder. Is it in the wrong area or something? I feel like it can be in any of these areas. I just don't understand. Plutonium dust, red phosphorus, doesn't do anything. It had more than enough power, I'm pretty sure, but didn't do anything. Um, yeah, I genuinely have no idea at this point. So... As much as I didn't want to do this, I'm going to leave it here. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to do anymore. I'm going to fill this back up. I'm going to keep trying, but yeah, I give up for now, honestly. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to take away these power storage blocks. I'm going to try to basically just revise this design. Like, I'm going to leave the bare bones, the wires, this power block, this... Maybe this thing too, and definitely these, but all of these other power blocks, they aren't needed. I don't think they're doing anything at all. So, yeah. I'm gonna take those away, but... Yeah, as much as I wanted to figure this out this episode, it just didn't do it. <laughs> I really don't know why. I mean, I, I tried with the coolant cluster, I tried without. I have no idea how to get that tower thing, but supposedly it isn't even needed. So yeah, I'm gonna test this in a creative world as well, just to see kinda more how much power it needs and all that, but yeah. Hopefully we'll figure this out tomorrow. I mean, not tomorrow, next episode. <laughs> um, if we do figure it out next episode, then we will be going for the uh, Neptunium, which we need for those dinospheres. <laughs> But what I'm going to be testing for off-camera is going to still be this tennisine powder. So yeah, <laughs> if you liked the video, I know it wasn't the best, you know, kind of ended on a bad note. Um, make sure to slap that like button, you know, it helps out a ton. If you have anything at all to say, 
any suggestions, any areas where you noticed I was completely wrong and did something absolutely stupid as could be, make sure to let me know in the comments, you know. <laughs> and definitely make sure to subscribe for more if you liked what you saw. As I said, I know today's episode wasn't the best, but, you know, we tried our best. <laughs> I'll, I'll hopefully figure it out off camera. And finally, we're gonna go with the T-Rex. <laughs> Thank you all very much for watching. Till next time, everyone, and goodbye. <laughs>